To have an accident is the worst nightmare of any motorcycle rider, isn't it? In this video, I'm gonna give you 5 very practical tips how to avoid it. Stay with me. Welcome back in the channel guys. Before I start with the tips, I want to tell you something very important. Something that you have to remember every time before you even start your motorcycle. I know that many of you will disagree with what I'm about to tell you, but I really hope that it will stick in your mind for the future thoughts in this direction. Are you ready to listen? Not only to watch the video, are you ready to really listen? If not, please go and watch something else because this is the most important advice I can give you. Every accident that you already had or you might have in the future was and it will be only your fault. I will repeat, every accident that you already had or you might have in the future was and it will be only your fault. I know that this is hard to swallow, but this is the truth. Replay the situation with the accident again in your mind and you will see the weak spots and you will see the possible solutions of the situation you already had. Now, when you are not on stress, you will be able to see the mistakes and eventually to learn how to avoid it in the future. This is the most important, to learn from the mistakes, not to repeat the same over and over again. Of course, as I said at the beginning, I do not expect from everyone to agree with my statement and now I expect a lot of arguments. Pavlin, you know nothing, this car hit me from behind or the big truck came from the left or I was with the right away and many more like this. Alright guys, I understand that, the shit just happens. But the car hit you from behind, did you check the mirrors before that? Or the big truck came from the left, alright? How the hell you missed the whole truck? Or I was with the right away. Oh good, that's good. But the right away means nothing when somebody take it from you, isn't it? All of these answers, excuses or the possible situations might help you with the insurance policy on the later stage, but they are not gonna help you with the pain and the shame after that. Before I start with the tips, let me tell you another one personal story. It's a bit long, but please be patient because you will get what you need at the end. Alright, in 2001 I was in Germany. Actually I was living in Berlin, but I was driving my car at that moment in Munich, 600 kilometers away from uh, Berlin. So, uh, uh, during that time Bulgaria was not part of European Union, so I was able to drive a car or ride a motorcycle with my Bulgarian driver license for only 6 months. After that I have to go and change it to the German driver license, but not just change it like today. Today you just go to the police station, give your Bulgaria license and they will give you German. No, because Bulgaria was not part of European Union, I have to do the whole theoretical and practical test to take a new driver license. So anyway, uh, on that date, it was one week after my uh, license expired, it was six months and one week, I was stopped by um, police in Munich, 600 kilometers away from Berlin. And uh, after a couple of minutes when the policeman checked my document, he said, oh, you don't have license, you have no right to, to, to drive a car. I said, man, I have a license. And he said, no, but it, it's expired a week ago. I said, and what? My driving skills are disappeared. What? I'm the same person. Please let me go. I'll take the highway and you will never see me again. But being a German, you know, Germans, they are very strict. He said, oh, I, I cannot do this, sir. I cannot let you go. I said, all right, all right, all right, what do we have to do? And he actually locked my car, took my keys, the documents, and just uh, took me a taxi to go and find a person with the proper German driver license and then let me go. Okay, to make the long story short, I will tell you. Anyway, after that, I, I come back to Berlin. And I need to do the whole test from the beginning, like I did when I was 18 years old. During that time, when I was making this theoretical test, I found something very interesting. It was a short sentence saying that when you drive into your car, you have to predict the mistakes of others. I'll repeat, when you drive your car, you have to predict the mistakes of others. I never heard this before, even that I have a license from many years. So this actually, guys, is my first tip. Predict the mistakes of others. Tip number two, choose the proper bike. In the last two years, I talk a lot about it. In fact, I have very detailed video on that topic. You can watch it here. So I will summarize everything for you guys and will let you know that it is obvious that 1000cc sport bike shouldn't be your first machine. If your short guide, KTM 1290 or Yamaha Tenere, it's not the right choice for you. Harley Davidson is not the proper machine to ride off-road. You can do it, but it's not going to be easy. 
or 150 cc it's not a fun on the highways at all by choosing the right model for you and your riding style you actually minimize the risk to have an accident with more than 50 percent you have to be able to control your bike alone without any help however in nowadays everybody is obsessed with these big engines more power better design more top speed all these adventure extras and many more but not so many people actually make the practical choice and buy the model they really need tip number three know your limits the first thing you have to do is to learn how to ride i don't mean to go and learn how to start your engine go onto the straight line make u-turn uh, go around some obstacles stop emergency stop or something like that no 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 all of this you will learn when you need to take your driver license i mean really to learn how to ride your motorcycle how to ride it in uh, cold or hot weather how to ride it in the good or bad roads off-road sands gravel uh, mud everything you can imagine when you complete this step you will gain the important skills you might need it you will know how dangerous it is to ride in the winter how risky it is to chop the throttle on the sand how stupid it is to press the brakes on the corners and many more you will know your limits all of this will help you to avoid unnecessary accidents in the future tip number four be informed let me clarify this for you guys most of the accidents are happens when you go to the unknown territory it could be new city different traffic rules but roads or unexpected weather changes you can minimize the risk if you just do your homework find as more as possible information of the area you're going to visit read books watch videos ask people be informed at least have some information because all of this will help you on the later stage after i uploaded the last video series about ladakh india i received a lot of comments am i not afraid to go there it was looking so dangerous and many more here guys i have to remind you about tip number three know your limits i knew where what bike the terrains and how long i can ride before the trip and even during the trip i was constantly upgrading my information about ladakh i was checking the weather conditions the roads and many more i was asking people even some of my friends like uh, anurag helped me a lot about it finally when i reached the destination i was ready i was sure that i can make it do not even think that because i have this youtube channel and i've been to a few places around the world i consider myself as a great rider no absolutely not but i ride motorcycles for many years and i know my limits of course there's no way to predict everything it's always some kind of risk let's say 10 percent but i am okay with this because if everything is safe and secure where well, the adventure will be number five fear is better than gear sounds good isn't it fear is better than gear fear is better than gear Ooh, sometimes i've got these great ideas anyway with the word gear i mean everything you already have got your motorcycle your helmet your jackets pounds boots or any kind of adventure stuff you already bought even the best helmets cannot guarantee 100 percent safety instead of relying on your abs system learn how to stop properly the good tires keep the bike on the ground but not always not on any case auxiliary lights cannot guarantee that you'll be visible people sometimes miss a big trucks with 20 lights on the top by buying an expensive motorcycle you are not going to become a better rider you will be just a owner of an expensive motorcycle traction control is a great extra but sometimes the crash bars may protect very well your motorcycle but what about you all the adventure features you've got they cannot ride your motorcycle at the end you have to do it and finally nothing worth more than your life so guys next time when you think that i'm a brave man think twice because i'm the same as you i'm scared from some things i'm afraid from some things but i will still go because the fear is what will keep me safe fear is better than gear remember it that's everything for today guys i really hope that this information will help you at least one person you can follow me on instagram i upload daily pictures from around the world you can ask your questions over there as well as usual thank you very much for watching and see you next time ciao